Life flourishes on this planet Earth, but our world is faced with many environmental crises. The depletion of the ozone layer, warming of the atmosphere, acid rain, and unrecycled waste are all threats to our planet and its precious life. Recycling technology is progressing in many areas, including recovery of used electric wire and cable. In fact, copper and some covering materials are already being recycled. Until recently, however, recycling of discarded cross-linked polyethylene and rubber materials was not a consideration. Now these materials can be recycled to create alternative energy sources. As we face a new century, our technology and our vision of tomorrow are helping to make the dream of those on our planet a reality. JECTEC, the Japan Electric Cable Technology Center, was founded in 1991 to undertake research and development projects on behalf of the wire and cable industry. With a subsidy granted by MIDI, JECTEC and six wire and cable makers have been jointly developing new recycling technologies that focus specifically on used cable covering materials. Through the development of standardized testing techniques and characteristic analysis, JECTEC works to improve the safety and reliability of wire and cable. The foundation also coordinates information exchange and technical updates in the field. Our new information society demands ever greater performance, capacity, and reliability from the wire and cable that form our various communications networks. Wire and cable consist mainly of conductor and covering material. Some portions of used wire and cable, namely copper and some covering materials, are being recycled. Ongoing efforts to develop recycling techniques for cross-linked polyethylene and rubber materials, however, have not been successful. One of the common goals of the industry has been to recycle these materials as alternative energy so as to produce environment-friendly fuels to meet growing energy demands. This goal is now in sight as JECTEC's laboratory phases of three such recycling processes have met with resounding success. Each year, cross-linked polyethylene production and waste increases. In JECTEC's pulverization process, this used material can be powdered into fuels. The verification plan for pulverizing cross-linked polyethylene comprises a crusher, metering feeder, pulverizer, classifier, and other components. Used cross-linked polyethylene pieces about 10 centimeters long are crushed into chips of 5 to 10 millimeters. Crushed chips are stored in the stock hopper, then transferred to the metering feeder and fed to the pulverizer at a controlled rate. In the pulverizer, the chips are mixed with pulverizing accelerator and heated. Then, the chips are pulverized into minute particles through a high shearing stress. Particles then cool as they move along a vibrating conveyor, which prevents them from aggregation. The classifier sorts them by size, and then they are stored in the stock hopper. It was once thought impossible to powder a viscoelastic substance without the use of a freeze crusher, which requires large amounts of coolant. Through this new method, however, normal temperature pulverization is possible. 
because of the unique pulverizing accelerator developed through fundamental studies at JECTEC is coupled with an enormous shearing stress that breaks down chips into particles as small as 80 micrometers in diameter. This two-pronged approach led to the creation of a verification plant for testing the production of fuel particles with an output of some 50 kilograms per hour. Currently, pulverized particles smaller than 300 micrometers can be produced at a recovery rate of 95%. A cone calorimeter test demonstrates both combustion speed and the heat release rate greater than those of pulverized coal. A similar combustion test was held in an experimental combustion chamber. Complete combustion with efficient heat recovery took place at 800 degrees centigrade or higher. Cable covering materials, including cross-linked polymer and fillers, undergo pyrolysis and are recycled. JECTEC has developed a pyrolytic system for polyolefin-based materials that comprises a catalyst premixing unit, primary reactor, residue settler, cooling units, and other components. Cross-linked polyethylene chips of 5 to 10 millimeters are mixed evenly with a pyrolytic catalyst in the catalyst premixing unit and flow continuously into the primary reactor at a specific rate. Pyrolysis takes place in the primary reactor at 400 to 500 degrees centigrade under normal pressure. The resulting gas is cooled by cooling units, then separated into heavy and light oils and stored in oil tanks. The system is designed to drain off residue periodically during the pyrolytic process. This powerful catalytic process for the pyrolysis of cross-linked polymers can successfully convert polyolefin-based materials to oil based largely on the utilization of the highly effective primary reactor. At the rate of 50 kilograms per hour, the verification plant shows a maximum pyrolytic efficiency of 86% for cross-linked polyethylene. 70% efficiency was found for semiconductive layered cross-linked polyethylene. The resulting converted heavy and light oils contain only 10% of the sulfur found in commercially available gas oil or fuel oil. In addition, these oils are as clean as kerosene with about the same sulfur content and therefore generate less sulfur dioxide than gas oil and fuel oil. Rubber-based covering materials contain considerable amounts of inorganic fillers, making it difficult to strip off the covering. These kinds of coverings are often recovered together with the conductor in the form of oil. JECTEC has developed a pyrolytic system wherein copper conductor and inorganic residue are recovered together. This system comprises a dry distillator, residue settler, cyclone, heat exchanger, and other components. Bundles of covering material, including rubber and copper conductor, are fed into the dry distillator via a bucket conveyor. This linear longitudinal dry distillator represents the newest state-of-the-art technology. A burner in the lower part of the dry distillator ignites the materials. Induced combustion in the lower furnace thermally decomposes the material in the upper furnace. 
The heat generated by the combustion of the material sustains the process. Thus, no external energy supply is required except for the ignition. The generated gas is cooled through a heat exchanger and is converted to fuel oil. The low molecular weight component of the gas is unlikely to turn to oil at normal temperatures and is released as harmless exhaust. Residue from the pyrolytic conversion is periodically drained off. Any residue that is combined with the copper conductor material must be separated to recover the copper. Utilizing this process, a recovery level of 60% and a pyrolytic processing rate of 60 kilograms per hour have been achieved. The converted oil shows a carbon number distribution equivalent to that of fuel oil, with an ignition point similar to that of gas or fuel oil. JECTEC has been highly acclaimed for developing this innovative technology, which can recycle oil and copper. The energy balance produced by this newly developed fuel demonstrates high values, 10 for the pulverization system and 7 for the pyrolytic system. JECTEC and six cable makers are confident that this technology represents the birth of a new, environment-friendly energy source. Through ingenuity and innovation, it is now possible to recycle cross-linked polyethylene and rubber-based covering materials through pulverization and pyrolytic technologies. The beginning of a new age of energy resources. JECTEC and six cable makers continue to work towards global, practical applications of these technologies. In search of environmentally balanced solutions that will serve as a legacy for future generations.